<sighs> All right. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the video. My name is Murray, and we're today we're going to create a callout title in After Effects. It's a minimalist one, so it's nice and sleek, gets the job done, it looks good, nice and simple. Uh, this is a more of a beginner side of things, so uh, keep that in mind. I have included an extra title in the download for you guys, so you get two of them for free. You can use the coupon free at checkout, just add it to your cart, download it, and you can get it for free. You don't have to pay anything if you don't want to. But if you choose to pay for the download, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. It really does mean a lot. A um, couple new things coming out with the with the new channel, or new stuff with the channel. Um, doing some more uh, stuff about me, what I what I kind of do with my business and, and such. So uh, stay tuned for that as well. If you're new, consider subscribing. Stick around. But without further ado, let's jump in. But first, intro. All right, so once we're in After Effects, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our composition. Obviously, just 1920 by 1080. This is true, 24 frames per second, so 23.976. I just show the composition settings here. This is how I've set it up over here. I'm gonna do OK. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a line. Um, I kind of already thought about this already, so I'm just gonna do G on the keyboard, and I can just click and drag, hold Shift. I could just drag that out. I'm just gonna hold shift again. I'm gonna say, let's have it out this far. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a stroke. I'm gonna take away the fill because I don't want that to interfere with anything. I'm gonna change the color of the stroke just so I can see it. And then I'm gonna increase the stroke. Let me, uh, let me zoom in here. Actually, I think that's all right. If I just deselect it. Yeah, I'd say that's okay. And I'm just gonna call this line. Maybe I'll make it a bit bigger. So if I tool down here, go to the trans, uh, go to the contents actually, go to the shape, go to the path, then I can just select this line again, hold shift whilst I drag so that if I move up and down, it doesn't do it in a smooth motion like this. That way I can keep the line straight. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna probably have it like that far. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the add here and I'm just going to go to trim paths I'm going to toggle that open. I'm going to keyframe the end and the start. I'm just going to zoom in here so I can see. Drag that out a bit. I'm going to drag the top one in a little bit because it's got to be offset a little bit. Then what I'm going to do is have the end at zero. That way it starts out there. And in fact, I'm going to keep this here. I don't need to change that. And then I go down in time, take it to 100. That's all I need. I actually don't need the other one. That's why I lied. So what you see here is now you can see the line come out. Obviously it's not very smooth, so I'm just going to select them, press F9 on the keyboard, go to my graph editor here, and I can select that keyframe, and I can drag it out to make it start smoothly and come to a stop. Or I can do it the other way. Let's see what this looks like first. So not too bad, and if I drag it the other way, you'll see the difference. It kind of comes to a nice slow stop. So depending on what you want, I'm going to keep it like this because I think it's much nicer. And I think I'm going to drag it out just a little more. So nice. Once I've got that done, I'm actually going to go to the color here. Let's go to the stroke. And I'm just going to change the color. I want it maybe a lighter red. I don't want it so red like that. Maybe a slight orange. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate it, Control D. I'm gonna change the color to white. And then with the keyframe selected, there's two ways I can offset these now because obviously the red one is covered, you can't see it. So you can either drag it out to make it start later. So it kind of has like an offset. The tip is a little orange. To add a little accent to it. I'm gonna drag it out a bit more. So you can either do it that way or another way to do it is you can select them both, press U twice on the keyboard, or you can just press it once, it'll show the keyframes. You can select those keyframes and drag those keyframes out. So that looks pretty nice. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some text. So Control T and let's just do some text here. Now I'm just gonna mess around with this text a little bit. I'm gonna add some spacing. Okay, and I'm just gonna take the size down as well, just so that it'll fit. And you know what, I'm probably going to make it even smaller. All right, I'm going to have it towards the end here. I'm going to have a little bit of a buffer here. It kind of looks nice. And I'm just going to adjust the text here so that it's even with the line. Actually, 
with Control R you can bring out your rulers, drag out here, and I'm just gonna take it to the line. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see here. And I'm just dragging it to the line here, then I'm gonna grab the text and it'll snap onto there. So if I zoom back out here, I can get this ruler and just drag it out. And then I can just press Control R or Command R to remove the rulers again. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to duplicate the text, press P on the keyboard. I'm just gonna drag it down underneath. I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna change the font to Roboto and I'm just going to make it thin or maybe I should do light. No, let's do thin. I like thin. And then I'm just going to, again, obviously grab that ruler. I could have just left it here. And I'm just gonna zoom in here to make sure it's on the right spot. All right, and then I'm gonna align the text like that again. And then I'm gonna change the text. Let's just say, President of South Africa. Just going to select it, center the anchor point, drag it out here. Okay, and you know what? I'm actually going to change the order of these lines. So if I just select them both, press U. Just gonna grab this here and I'm just gonna offset this over here. I'm gonna bring this line up to the top so that the top one is orange. And when it kind of moves out, you can see it's white and then orange. It just kind of adds a bit more variation to the colors here whilst the title is on screen. Very nice. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keyframe the position of the text. So let's just rename this. Text one and then text two. First text I'm gonna do is grab the P on the position for the keyboard. And when this line is fully out, let's wait until about there. Then I'm gonna keyframe the position, drag that out because that's the final position I want it to be in. And I'm just gonna drag it down underneath. Again, I'm gonna select them, press F9 on the keyboard, go to the graph editor, select the keyframe, I'm gonna drag it in and drag the other one out so that it has a quick coming in and it kind of smooths out as it goes. And actually I can drag that out a little further. Very nice. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. Go to the position on the keyboard, or P on the keyboard, grab the position, keyframe it. I'm actually gonna have it come out over there and start here. Drag that out. Again, select them, press F9, go to the graph editor, and you get the idea now. If I just check what that looks like, nice. Probably gonna offset it just a little more. Then obviously you can see that you can still see them before the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a mat. So first thing I'm going to do is just do control Y or you can right click and do a new solid. I'm just going to call it mat, uh, mat one. And in fact, I'm going to change the color. So control shift Y with it selected. I'm going to change it to white, do OK. And I'm going to drag it so that it's in line with the line. OK, that's lined up. So let's take it to the text one and then I'm going to do alpha mat so that now you can see well it's actually not the alpha mat it's the second one so you can see when it comes out it comes out from the line which is nice and actually I'm gonna make sure that this mat is aligned properly with the shape there we go so now the edge of the mat here is in line with the edge of the shape I'm just gonna go zoom back out here and I'm gonna do the same thing with the text too. So duplicate that, control D. I'm going to select my text layer here. I'm gonna do alpha mat. And you can see with your line coming out, the text is hidden and then it shows itself from underneath. And actually with this mat, I gotta reposition it because it's on the top part of the shape. I want it to be on the bottom part because I don't want the text to be revealed. If I just go back here you can see the text is revealed on top of that. So if I drag the mat down, you can see it looks like now that it's appearing from underneath the shape. So if I just go back out here, I'm just gonna get rid of this ruler because I don't think I need it anymore. And then if I just take a look here, nice, very simple, very quick as well. Very easy. And it's sometimes the most simplest titles work the best. And it looks really nice. One thing you can do if you have a white background for your video, let's say the video is a little overexposed or something, let's just say you can't see it here, there's white. So what you can do is you can do control Y, just get a solid, uh, we'll make it gray, I'd say. And let's just call it background. I'm gonna drag it underneath. Now this is just hypothetical. I'm 
I'm just going to drag it down. I'm also going to scale it down just like that. You can play with the opacity by pressing T. You can take it down if you want. And then let's say you want it to scale in. So I press the scale, making sure the anchor point tool is way, way on the side here. I'm going to keyframe the scale. I'm going to take it back and I'm going to uncheck this constraint proportions. That way, when I scale it down, it scales in one proportion. It doesn't do it in the X and Y like that. Then I'm going to take this down to zero and you can see that it scales out like that. Again, F9, you're going to easy ease them just like before. Make it start quick and end slower. It kind of gets drawn out. And I'm actually going to drag it in so you can see the title come up. So I'll leave this in here for you guys, but if you don't want to have it, you can just deactivate it and you can just keep it like that. Nice and simple, but I'll leave that in there just in case you want that type of effect for the background in case it's hard to see the white letters. Now you can obviously add a outline to the text. So if you select the text and you go in here into your character tab, you can add a stroke width. So if I just increase it right now, it's yellow. So if I just change the color, let's say to black, you can see it adds that. Now, obviously it's gotta be a little subtle. Let's do maybe three. Yeah, it's okay if we hide this and just show the white background here. You can see it shows a bit, maybe even a little smaller. Let's do one. Now you gotta select it first, of course. Go and select here, go to one. Yeah, it's not that great, but I mean, it's it's uh, it's an option. So I'm just gonna show that again. So that looks pretty nice. And I hope that's kind of like a, a good understanding of how you can make callout titles. <sighs> yeah, so that's, that's it. Um, pretty quick and easy. Uh, like I said before, there are two titles for you, so you can download them in the description. Use the coupon free at checkout, just add it to your cart use the coupon, you can get it for free, no credit card or anything like that needed. Um, but I do appreciate the support if you do pay for it. Thank you so much. It does mean a lot. Um, but yeah, until next time, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting. Actually, I forgot to tell them to subscribe. <sighs> subscribe!